I'm really interested in what you guys are doing, what you guys are talking about for quite some time, the carnivore diet. And, and I've been uh, researching that for quite some time before I jumped in it. I kind of want to know as much as I, 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 can, I can have information on and educate myself as much as possible and then venture in it uh, because I've tried every type of diets and every other things that uh, kind of I've heard about and things that would make me feel better. But I got to tell you, this is the, the best thing I ever done and I'm not uh, moving away from it. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, it's helped me incredibly in my life, a day to day in my work and my relationship. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys can hear me today. We have a, another special guest. We have uh, Mr. Antonio Sabato Jr. How are you, man? How are you, Sean? Good morning. I'm good. Hey, welcome. Thanks for doing it. I know you you got this on kind of the last minute type of deal you're able to, 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 to schedule with us. So I appreciate that. And so where are you located currently? I'm in, uh, in Tampa, Florida. You're in Tampa. Okay. I was there. I was there a few months ago. It's beautiful over there. So, um, you know, I know you, you've uh, been uh, sort of uh, active your whole life. Uh, you were, I mean, I guess your background looks like you're a Calvin Klein model. So <laughs> uh, neat stuff there. And, and I guess I'm acting and stuff like that. So if, if you don't mind for people that aren't familiar with you, would you just kind of uh, give us your background, please? Oh, yeah. I uh, My name is Antonio Sabato Jr. I've been uh, doing films since the uh, mid 80s, uh, moved to this country from Italy uh, back in 1985. Um, I've done over a hundred productions from TVs, movies, and just finished a really great film called Grace by Night comes out uh, this Christmas. I was also in the last God is not dead film uh, that just came out in the theaters not too long ago. Um, And now I live in Florida. I've been, uh, I've been racing cars and being a sports and athlete my whole life. And uh, I'm really interested in what you guys are doing, what you guys are talking about for quite some time, the carnivore diet and, and I've been uh, researching that for quite some time before I jumped in it. I kind of want to know as much as I, 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 can, I can have information on and educate myself as much as possible and then venture in it uh, because I've tried every type of diets and every uh, other things that uh, kind of I've heard about and things that would make me feel better. But I got to tell you, this is the, the best thing I ever done and I'm not uh, moving away from it. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, it's helped me incredibly. And my life a day to day and my work and my relationship. Um, yeah, I just love it. I, I don't quite understand why not a lot of people are, uh, or, you know, people are kind of skeptic about it, but I got to tell you from my point of view, it's, it's been great. And uh, I tend to stay on it for a while. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly a cultural thing. I mean, you know, if you look at Western culture, we're not used to that. I mean, if you go to, you know, if you were to go to rural Mongolia or Nilotic Africa, they'd be like, Hey, this is normal. This is no big deal. This is sort of what we do. We've been doing for, generation upon generation so it's not that unusual it's just that we're so sort of used to you know what we have here you know as a as a model as an actor i mean it's important your, your appearance is important obviously so you have to and usually when you look good you're generally healthy i mean not always but but generally and so you said you've tried all kinds of things all, all over the yeah. years i mean you know i don't know that you ever got obese I, I doubt it i don't think you've ever been obese in your life but no no did you have, i've did never you have, been obese sean but i I've always been training really hard and I really enjoy training for me as yeah. something that's part of my life. I, I constantly really want to push myself and I just turned 50 this year. So I, I don't want to stop doing it. I, I, I like, I really put myself through, through hell. I enjoy that. It's part of something that I've done in my whole life since I was a teenager. Um, you know, I started boxing with my father. My father was, God bless his soul, was very healthy. My mother is still healthy now. She's very active. But I don't want to stop doing that because it's something that I, every morning when I get up, I have my gym here. I need to push myself. So I try different things. You know, even back in the day, not too 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 long ago, I started um, the vegan diet. You know, I did that, and that was horrible. That was the worst thing I could do. It really set me back a bit. Uh, I didn't enjoy that at all. Uh, but I, I I tend to believe that the food that you put in your body, you know, that God created, makes you a better person depending on what you put in your body and stuff like that. And in the recent years, I really heard about, you know, this diet from you guys from like, like yourself and Joe Rogan and, and other great doctors all around the world uh, that talk really highly about this. So I, I go, well, let, let's, let's do it. Let's try to find out and, and start doing this really slowly and get into it and see if anything changes. And recently I was doing this film, Grace by Night, and I was working a long, long hours. And uh, 
I really wanted to try it. For some reason, I really went on 100% just eating beef every day and just water and cutting down everything. And one of the things that I really wanted to cut down was coffee. I really was addicted to coffee for many years. I grew up in Italy, in Europe, as you know, we drink coffee every day, all day long at times, and, uh, and I wanted to get rid of it. And one of the things I've done in the past is that well, every time I quit coffee, I had these migraines, I had this, um, you know, just really uncomfortable places for the next week or two that I could really bear with and, uh, and I couldn't bear with. And I just, uh, with this diet, I had no migraines, I had no fallback, I had nothing going wrong with me, I just quit coffee. I remember I went on the diet and I changed my habit altogether. And the first day I didn't have a migraine, the second day and the third day, and it's been three months that I have not had any coffee and it's been great. You know, I had my eggs, I had my, my beef, I had a great steak last night. Um, I feel great, I feel really energetic. Uh, I'm doing my blood work, next month in July. So I'm going to check everything, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited to see what my doctor is going to say about that because my diet has drastically been from like zero to a hundred in this carnivore diet. Uh, my family is very much against it. They're like, what are you doing? The cholesterol level, all this other stuff. And I explained to them about all the things that I've learned from guys like yourself and all the ed educational things that I read. And, uh, but people are stuck in their own habits. Um, and it's hard to change those things. But the best thing to do for me is just to showcase how I'm living, you know, like my body fat, my weight is, is decreased. Uh, I am more lean, stronger. Uh, I, I feel more energetic. My libido is 100 percent. It's incredible. So if I can showcase that, maybe they'll follow, you know, that's all we can do. Yeah. I mean, there's some point where you have to say, what is the definition of health? And is it is it is it some particular lab marker or is it just how you are as a human being. And I think most of us, if we're honest about it, would rather feel feel better and, and look better and perform better. I mean, I think that's, I mean, all of us should do that. You know, you right. mentioned, you know, you, you dabbled with veganism for a while and it wasn't for you. And and, I, and believe me, I, I literally, every single week I get, I do consultations. <laughs> like every week I get somebody who's on a vegan diet and it destroyed their health and they're trying to, trying to regain it. So it's not surprising to me, but were you ever approached like, you know, to say, hey, to push vegan products? You know, we've got Kim Kardashian out there pretending to eat fake meat. And uh, did they, was that ever somebody that sort of said, hey, yeah. you're on a vegan diet? Hollywood is pushing for that. I, I was just talking to a director not too long ago that he might be working on something and he has some issues. Um, and he's talking about going on this diet. And I told him that was the worst thing I ever did. I actually tried it for 28 days. I couldn't even do a month. Uh, the last week it was like, why are we doing this? You know, I just... Uh, and, and listen, I haven't eaten any vegetables uh, for a very long time. I feel great. Um, I got to tell you, during the, 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 the 28 days eating vegetables every day, whether it was vegan burgers or whatever, it was really, really uncomfortable. My intestines felt weird. My libido was shot. Uh, my energy level was definitely lower than ever. I felt like I was like 20 years older. Um, then a lot of gas, a lot of things. It was just really, I couldn't sleep very well. Um, and also, uh, estrogen level too. I was very, you know, like mood swings will go up and down. Now I'm pretty much leveled in one way. I mean, I get up in the morning, I'm throughout the day. I have enough energy. I sleep really great at night. It's a whole different ball game. So I, I gotta tell you, I mean, why would I change it? I tell people, why would I change my diet if I'm feeling the best I ever felt in a very long time? Uh, not only in the gym, but just day to day life. Um, and the mood swings was really something when, when, when I was eating a lot of those, all the vegetables, that was really the key. Like, you know, you could be watching a sad movie and all of a sudden you, you have tears coming. Like you have these things about you're mad, you're happy. Um, you know, you don't deal with circumstances the same way anymore. You feel very, very different and, um, and energy level, which is the big key for me was extremely low. And I don't want that to ever happen again. Uh, and also, like I said, the intestines, uh, a lot of gas, a lot of burping. I remember burping a lot, uh, which was really uncomfortable. Why am I burping so much? So why would I put myself through that um, with, with eating that, that sort of stuff? And uh, I love eating beef more than ever. I cut down even chicken. I don't even eat chicken as much. I eat some fish once in a while, um, but the beef is keeping me going and I'm going to stick to that. Yeah, beef is a truly a superfood. I, I I I sort of mimicked or mirror that. I mean, I'm 55 and I still like it. Like just like you, I love training. It's 
who I am. It's part of my identity. I can't imagine a, a world where I couldn't train. It would be very miserable for me. And so I, I, every day I'm out there doing right. something. Um, you'd mentioned sort of uh, Hollywood sort of sort of pushing people towards veganism or plant-based diets or vegetarianism. You yeah. know, I, and, and, you know, I've talked to a few folks in, 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 in act, that are actors and stuff, and it's a lot of times it's long days. I mean, it's, you know, get up at four o'clock in the morning and work till midnight or something. How does it, I mean, are you able to, to, how does that work with a diet? Can you envision how you do that, that diet in that situation or already, are you already doing that? Well, I'm already doing that. Cause it's, it's really something like, for example, if I go to, if, you know, I have kids and sometimes, you know, we eat not the best food, but I try to manage and say, you know what, if I'm going to go to, if I'm going to get a burger and now I'm going to get to uh, a burger joint or some sort, I'll go to five guys and I'll give myself some burgers, some, just some, some by themselves, no bread, nothing like that. So I, I can manage, you know, if I'm working on a movie set, I tell them I only eat beef just to give me like a bowl from Chipotle or something like that with just beef on it. Um, and that would keep me going for a long time. And as long as I, I stay away, the, the, the key is staying away from sugar. That's the thing because sugar is really the, the number one drug in the world that's killing everybody and any type of sugar, whether it's carbs, sugar, sodas, anything in, in orange juice or whatever it is. So when I have days when I have zero sugar at all, I feel amazing. I feel incredible. I feel like I mean, those days I have two workouts because I have so much energy. I do one in the morning. I go through my day. You know, I'm in real estate right now. So I do real estate deals or whatever, or, or I'm getting ready to do a movie. So I read a script of, or I spend time with my kids or whatever it needs to be done. And then I have so much energy in the afternoon that I go back on the bike and I'll run another hour or I'll, I'll box for an hour because I need to get rid of that, just that, that much energy that I have. And then I sleep great. So sugar is key. Uh, I try to stay away with, uh, from it a hundred percent, but on movie set, I just let them know, you know, this is, this is my diet. I pretty much eat beef a hundred percent and they look at me weird. They go, what's going on here? You know, the, the first reaction is like, really, that's all you eat. Yep. Yeah, that's all I eat right now. And I feel great. So, and I, and I tend to stay away from, um, like I said, I don't eat any vegetables anymore at all, period. Um, and I'm feeling great. So I'm not going to change it. Yeah, I, I I haven't had any vegetables in about six years, and I, I don't regret it at all. I don't miss it. Never liked them too much, to be honest. But you know, I, I guess I can imagine because they're probably used to you know different actors, actresses having their their dietary preferences, and probably a lot of them are plant based. You know, you see that, and they're probably used to that. And so when you say, "Hey, I'm the opposite. Just bring me some steak," uh, it's got to be it's got to be interesting to them. Do they ever like ask you about it? Do you? I mean, have you have you convinced anybody to say, "Hey, look, this is a way to do it"? Or um. They, they, they're very skeptical. They talk about the usual stuff. How's your cholesterol? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how are you doing with that? How could you be eating so much beef, so many eggs and things like that? And um, I, 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 what I do is I, I tell them, you know, go see people like yourself, you know, go, go find out for yourself, you know, go ask Sean or go look for some videos or because for me, it's just, it's just hard to, I'm not a doctor. So for me, obviously I can't really explain it. And whether they believe me or not, but I, I say, listen, I feel great. And I, I, and why would I change it? You know, why would I change? It? This is what I do every day. This is what's been happening since I started this. And this is what, what kind of life I used to have before that. And I don't want to change it. And they see it in me and they say, the first thing they say, well, you lost a lot of weight. You look lean. You look really cut. Uh, you have a lot of energy. So those are good things. Uh, and that's all you eat is beef. I says, yeah, that's all I eat. Um, pretty much. And, um, and I stay away from this, 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 and that. And I try to convince them like that because that's, that's the best way I know how that it's not going to be controversial and it's going to get into an argument because as you know, you know, when you talk to Hollywood folks, they're always right. And everybody else is always wrong. <laughs> so it's hard to have a normal conversation because they're stuck to it and they believe they're doctors and and I usually say, how does your doctor look like? You know, is your doctor look fit? And uh, does he actually work out? Does he actually train? Does he does he actually follow what he preaches? And most of the times they're not because a lot of these doctors are overweight and they, they follow the wrong diets altogether. I've never really seen, except yourself and, and people that are on this diet, I haven't really seen doctors that are really, really fit and look great. Uh, they don't. Um, and they don't really, all they do is come back with numbers. They tell you this is what you should be doing. Uh, 
Like, like I mentioned, I think, I think you mentioned it many times, eat your vegetables type of deal. Um, but I don't eat my vegetables and I feel great. And my memory level too. another thing, memory level, memorizing it's off the charts, man. I don't forget it. I don't forget anything. It's, it's incredible. My skin, uh, people ask me all the time, uh, what do you, what do you use for your skin? What kind of products? I don't use anything. I don't use any products for my skin at all, period. And I haven't in a long, long time. And uh, I don't have any issues with that either. So, hey, I- I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be younger as I get older. And I'm going to follow that. I'm going to follow this carnivore diet 100 percent. I feel yeah, awesome. Awesome. And I think you're making Estee Lauder and others unhappy because they listen to models and say, well, my skincare routine is just good food and not smearing a bunch of creams on. Um, you'd mentioned, you know, so what was going on before? I mean, you said there were some things, issues going on that, that maybe weren't performing as well or fearing was good. So what, what was it yeah. like before you switched to the diet? Well, I tried uh, intermittent fasting. You know, I did that for a while. You know, I would wait at 12 to 16 hours. Um, but at the same time, when I was doing that intermittent fasting, I was eating the vegetables and I was eating the, the high protein, but I was eating a lot of vegetables. I, would eat, I was eating my potatoes for carbs and energy. I would eat some pasta for energy, for carbs, um, which I thought it was it would give me enough energy to get those great workouts so I could burn fat and blah, 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 the usual type of deal because that's pretty much what everybody's on, right? Just uh, high protein, low carbs, but just enough to give you that, that boost. Um, then I would have coffee, but then what do you put in coffee? You put the creamer and blah, 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 and all that other stuff. And I wasn't losing any weight at all. I was training somewhat hard, not as hard as I am now, but I was always constantly training. And I was actually probably over training at times because I was trying to push myself. Why is it not? Why am I not losing the weight? My, why am I weighing the same? Or why am I looking the same? Why am I not losing this fat behind my back or whatever it is, you know? And, um, and I got to tell you the difference that I saw the moment I went on a carnivore diet for those first 10 days was incredible because I saw the, the a huge change in the first week that I'd never seen before ever. And, um, I saw there's something going on here. And like I told you from, from the coffee, the migraines, the way I felt the energy level and everything else that goes with it. It's just a list of things that were just great, great, great. And, and, uh, now that I've been on it for several months, it's really only getting better. Uh, because now I know myself, you know, I just get up in the morning, I have my eggs, I have my beef, and I have the entire day where I have a lot of stuff going on here that I don't have to rely on food on. I don't have to. The addiction, too. That's a big key. The addiction on specific foods at the time before I started this, like sugar, cream in the coffee. Um, you know, I had to have some pasta, some carbs for energy because I felt low. Mood swings. Very big key. Mood, mood swings. You know, that was I don't have those anymore. Um, also, soreness. That's another thing. Uh, I was sore all the time. Now I'm not sore all the time. I'm pumped. I feel great. I have the veins. I have everything going on. I, I you know, I look like I probably could go on, on, you know, on, on stage on a daily basis. And also another key uh, that I want to tell you all your viewers is important is that my weight stayed the same, which is incredible. It never went up, it never went low. And I got to the weight. I'm 180 right now, which is, which is a really good weight. I'm 6'1", 180 pounds. And I feel great. You know, I don't, I don't need to go higher. I don't need to go lower. You know, my face looks, you know, lean and, uh, you know, chisel right here. I feel great. Uh, my abs are all showing everywhere. Um, and, uh, and I feel strong and I'm pushing a lot of weight too. So that's the key. Yeah. At 50, that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, most people sort of think of 50 year olds as kind of big belly on the dad bod, big belly and just tired and everything hurts. And, let me ask you, because you mentioned the, the the mental stuff, because, I mean, obviously, you know, you've got to memorize scripts and, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it probably makes what you do a lot easier. I've, I've heard people talking about, like, singers say they can sing better. They've got people, I've, I've heard many people talk about these things. We wouldn't really associate with diet, but it turns out that diet impacts everything. So how does that, how does that work for, like, memorizing lines and stuff like that? Does that become easier? It becomes a lot easier reading, remembering things um conversations um really the brain is working a lot better for some reason um and uh you know i watch stuff i remember everything about it a lot better Um, my eyesight um my uh, just energy level in my body is kind of um i kind of feel like i'm on 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 
steroids in some way or another. Like every time, and this is how I feel every time I eat a really big steak, something really juicy, um, and uh, and 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 I finish eating it, I feel energized um, to the point where I, I remember, like if you if you were taking uh, a pre workout or something like that, where you just feel, re- but without the jig, you know, without all that negative stuff that goes with it, um, you feel really good and healthy and uh and energized at, at a top level uh you know when i when i eat my steak i feel like going for a run um I, and and i don't know if i should do that or not but i just feel like i have a lot in me uh to last me a long time and the surprising thing about it is i didn't eat any carbs i didn't eat any any you know usually i you know i grew up you know with trainers training and and, uh, and jujitsu and boxing and in racing, you know, cars, you know, you have to eat a big bowl of rice or a big bowl of pasta to give you that energy. Well, I don't eat any of that. I don't eat any rice anymore. I don't eat any pasta. Uh, I got rid of tomatoes, I tomato sauce. I got rid of everything. Um, also, when I take flights, when I go flying around, my immune system is extremely strong. Um, I don't get, uh, you know, usually if I went on a, on a flight or something, you catch something or you know, there's a lot of things going around, people being together in big places and stuff like that, whether it's a minor cold or things like that. I don't get any of it at all. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, this six one one eighty fairly active. What do you what what do you eat? What's a typical day's worth of eating? You know, how how much are you eating about just so we can get an idea? On I that. start in the morning with six eggs. Uh, I, I put a lot of sausages and butter in there. And then I go with a lot of steaks after that I, or ground beef. I, I'll eat a pound of ground beef after that. Um, maybe a pound and a half of ground beef with some salt. Uh, just nothing really in it that much. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it uh, right there. Uh, well, I'll have some patties. I have patties, which is 80% uh, and 20% fat, um, which are juicy. I'll have like four patties at night. So that's pretty much it. I stick to the ground beef or patties or steak for the most part. So, so like about, it looks like about two pounds of food a day. Is that? Yeah, about maybe a little bit more sometimes. And like I said, even at two pounds of like beef and stuff, I don't gain any weight at all. Uh, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm just at the same weight. And um, I, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I've never seen that before in my body before. It's really uh, outstanding. Are you, are you feeling like you're, are you dealing with hunger very well? Are you hungry all the time or is that, you know, is that, is that plenty for no. you? I'm not, I'm not hungry all the time, uh, which is great. I don't, uh, I don't need, uh, to eat all the time. Um, like for example, like I just had my breakfast in the morning with the eggs and stuff and the butter and, and the sausages, uh, which is a great, it fills me up a nice big glass of cold water. And, uh, that will keep me going until about early afternoon, uh, without needing anything else, no snacks. Nothing like that. If if I do feel if like for example, if I'm on set uh, and uh, and I'm working or you know I, I need a snack of some sort, I'll go to a beef jerky of some sort, just like some jerky that I can uh, some beef real fast. But then I'm I'm eager to kind of wait for that big meal again of beef that I'm excited about. You know, when, when my fiance gets home and we make that meal, I'm looking forward to that. So I kind of want to wait for that to happen rather than eat in between. Uh, so I look forward to that. Yeah. Some people say hunger is the best sauce. You know, when, you, when you're a little bit hungry, the food tastes even better. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple of ribeyes waiting for me. I think I'm going to have yeah. them in about an, about an hour and a half from now. And I'm, I'm already looking forward to that. And that's my major. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about that too. Yeah, it's good. Are you concerned at all about, you know, because this is, you know, like I said, you work in a place in Hollywood or film where, you know, they, they sort of like, maybe they're saying, Hey, maybe we should, all think and act a certain way. And uh, are you worried about being kind of blackballed for your dietary preferences? Is that a, is that a realistic concern for you? Uh, it, it probably can be, I guess, in some way or another, because everybody's stuck on their own ways over there. And, uh, but I, I don't know, I, I like I said, I, I just kind of do my thing and, and follow what makes me feel better, what gets me going in the morning and throughout the entire day. And uh, I, I know they're asking a lot of questions because they're, they're going, how, how is he possible at 50 years old? How is he looking like this? And how, you know, and I always, I, I tell them the same thing, you know, I, I work hard, you know, it's not like you just eat the food and just stand around. I mean, we, you have to, you have to take practice and you have to put your body into motion, no matter what, there's no excuses. You know, I had a fitness book years ago that I, 
that I wrote called No Excuses because at the end of the day, it's, it's, you're only at fault with yourself. If you don't work out, it's up to you. If you eat this, it's up to you. But right now with social media, with so much stuff at our, at our disposal, you know, getting to know so much information like the stuff that you put out and some other folks out there are putting out, it's just so educational. And I think it's worth finding out for yourself. Go, go try. You know, I always tell people, if you don't believe me, uh, and you've been trying to do the certain thing for a long and hasn't worked. Why don't you try it for seven days? You know, why don't you try it for a few days? Why don't you try it for yourself to see how it is and, and see it and see how your body is? Get to know your body internally and audibly. So you, you really get to know yourself because this is the only body you have. And, you know, by following what everybody else is doing, you know, the, you know, the sheep thing, you know, everybody's a sheep. Everybody does what they're told. But I, I tend to, I'm one of these people that I need to find for myself. Um, and if it works for myself and I feel better every day and I don't have to take any medication, I don't have to take any antidepressants. I don't have to see a psychologist, psychiatrist or whatever to work out these issues. And I'm working it out by myself with food that was created by God uh, that makes me feel great. I'd rather take that route uh, than anything else. And, and that, this is what I'm doing nowadays. Um, this year. And I've been wanting to do this for a while because I've been hearing so many great things. Uh, and now that I finally did it and I was doing what they were doing too, and I was doing that and it didn't work for me. It made me feel extremely awful on a daily basis. And there was a lot of things and, and it leads to a lot of bad things. You know, when you feel depressed because of the food you eat, you tend to believe psychologists or psychiatrists and doctors, and then you're on medication. And before you know, you're addicted to things that are addicted to your brain. And, 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 and I seen people in later on in life where they have to take four or five, six pills on a daily basis. They're extremely depressed. They can't sleep. Uh, they look awful uh, and they can't function. I don't want to live like that. Uh, I, I, I want to be a, a top level. I want to be an athlete. I want to enjoy training like an athlete, like I have been my, my whole life since I was younger. And I'm doing that in my fifties. So it says a lot about the food that I put in my body. So if anything, they can see that and go, you know what? He's doing it somehow. Let's give it a shot. And even if it's one guy out of 50 people or one woman out of 50 women, they can do that. Why not? You know, try it for yourself and see. And then, and then we can see, you know, I, I would say put uh, a person eating vegan for 30 days and put a, one of us eating meat for 30 days and see what happens after 30 days. And I would love to see the the consequences of that. Yeah. And it depends what you want to measure. I mean, so people have, you know, they're going to, there's going to different because we say these things are likely to happen. These aren't, and who, who knows what's better. What was the thing? Cause you said you've been thinking about it for a long time. What was it that pushed you over the edge? You said, okay, fine. it, F it I'm going to go do it. I was just sick of trying the same stuff for so long, you know, that, that it wasn't working. And my, my weight, like I said, my, my mood swings, um, the fact that I was approached by a doctor saying, well, maybe you should go on antidepressants because, you know, you feel depressed or there's some issues there or whatever, you know, or just day to day thing. And, and it was always the answer. Well, there's this pill or there's this, thing, or, 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 you know, and I was like, I don't want to be addicted to anything. I, I, I don't want, I don't want to feel addicted to anything or whether it's food, sugar, whatever. Um, and so I, I kind of did a lot of a lot of research. I listened to a lot of your videos um, and so many other great folks out there who know their stuff. They really do. And uh, this year, when I when I saw the fifty to five zero, and I saw myself going, there's two things I could do. I could either do the same things I've been doing, or I can make a big change and try it. But I need to try it a hundred percent. And one of the things that I was contemplating was, can I do this every day? You know, can I do this and then maybe fall back and eat some sugar or go back and eat a bowl of pasta? Can I really stick to it? Uh, really a hundred percent. And so that was one of the things that I said, because I don't want to, I don't want to go in and out. I don't want to step in and step out. I want to really do it. And so at some point I just said, I'm one of these people when I, when I dove in and I took the first dive, I said, I'm going to go in a hundred percent and I'm not going to turn back. And if it works out, I'm going to stick to it. And if it doesn't, I could always have the option to go back to what I was doing, right? So, and I haven't gone back at all, and I don't intend to ever again. You, uh, you mentioned if your fiance and the fact that you have you're, you're you're originally from Italy, and we all sort of associate Italians with lots of pasta and all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, all so, kinds. so how does your fiance? Because she sees you, I assume 
most days or every day and and yeah. your family sort of, because you mentioned your family was kind of not so interested in this or not or concerned about you. How do you sort of, I mean, surely they can see the difference if they see you on a regular basis. They're like, wow, you look really good. Or how does that, yeah. how does that play it's, out? It's, it's an understanding because, you know, they, they love their vegetables. My fiance loves mushrooms. You know, she loves uh, her rice and stuff. And she's on a really good diet. She likes to work out. But I told her, I said, I'm going to make a change and I don't want you to make a change. I'm not forcing this on you. I just want you to see what's happening with me. And she's seen that. She's seen a really, really great things uh, and only good things. And so she's supporting it 100%. And at the same time, I'm not forcing my way of doing things to her. Um, but at times, you know, last night we had steak together, you know, and we ate that together and she felt great. So over time, Things could possibly change. But I, I, you know, I tell people, couples and stuff like that, you know, you do what you do for you. And if if you guys can meet in the middle, so be it. If not, then you know, you have to respect each other and respect what the other person is doing. And um, so far, uh, they were contemplating it at first, but I, now that it's been three months and they see me, they see the energy uh, that I have, the enthusiasm, smiling every day sleeping good every day. Um, my mood swings are not changing dramatically anymore. I know in the back of their mind, they're going, I guess he's doing something right here because we can't say anything bad about this, you know? And then when I'll, when I'll bring the blood work in a month, uh, which is going to be great, I know it's going to be awesome. Then I'll show them that too, you know? And so I'll just keep doing it. Uh, but it's really, I mean, one of the things that really this makes really life easy is that you know exactly what you're going to be eating. There's not like, oh, I got to figure this out, or I got to go here to eat this, or I got to ask, you know, I got, it's pretty easy. It's meat, water, and eggs, you know, and uh, that's easy. And I, my body enjoys them, uh, and I don't crave anything else. So it's all good. Yeah. Do you, um, you know, as far as uh, other habits that you might have, because you mentioned, you know, you exercise is important. And I, same thing, I just say, you know, it's, Nutrition is a huge part of the puzzle, but it's not the only piece of the puzzle. What are the things do you try and do? I mean, obviously, you're exercising, take care of yourself, that, but sleep uh, uh, regimens, uh, light exposure. I don't know what, what, what kind of things you yeah, think. Yeah, staying in the sun, staying outside in the sun, uh, definitely getting uh, you know a lot of sun, enough sun in my face and my body to get energized. Go outside, go for walks, um, go in the ocean. Very important. I live by the ocean, so I love the ocean water, the salt water on my body. Sleeping, um, staying away from alcohol, you know, uh, that's another important thing. So the next day it feels really extremely great. Um, really, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, really, the the food that I put in my body is just really the the, the key point for a lot of things throughout the entire day. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, if I made a little slight changes, uh, where, you know, if I had some sugar in something or whatever, I can see a really big difference. And so I stay away from all that stuff. And my body's actually getting to a point of rejection, um, uh, where if I'm having dinner with other people and they're having their usual dinner and I'm having my steak, I'm satisfied and I reject the carbs and I reject all that automatically. It's, it's, it's intuitive at this point. It's, um, uh, I don't need it. I don't, I might like it, but I don't need it. And, um, uh, and I don't intend to put it in my body in a way that is very comfortable. It's, it's very, and that's one of the things I like. I don't, I don't, I don't tend to put it down or I don't tend to say, well, that's bad. I just say it's not for me and I automatically just eat this. And, and I enjoy the beef a lot better uh, in every way, shape, or form. Uh, and also going back to Italian food, I mean, there's prosciutto, there's salami. That's that's beef. That's a lot of good stuff that I could have as much as I want. Um, and I enjoy that. So you kind of have to just balance it out. But life seems to be overall a lot easier overall in every way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. And, and you got this Florentine steaks and stuff like that. So there's a lot of... Uh, uh, good, good stuff there. What uh, you said you did, you recently moved to Tampa. Or where, where were you at before? What prompted the move? Out I was there? in California for uh, thirty some years, and we moved here. It's been over two years right now. It's been phenomenal. Florida is a great state. 
um yeah so we moved here and you know we we always lived next to the ocean we like the water next to us and we're very active and you know we'll go for for runs or bike rides and things like that and um yeah we need to be outside at all times so um but I, you know another thing that i was just thinking about is the fact that i i don't i want to see my kids grow older and be in situations where i can play sports with them you know if i'm doing jujitsu with my son i can roll with him uh even in my 50s uh, and I look forward in my 60s and my 70s and so forth. So uh, that's 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 pretty much one of the other things why I really wanted to change my lifestyle, my my eating habits 100 percent is because the last thing I want is to be in a hospital. Uh, and, and I don't I mean, I appreciate doctors. I respect them extremely. And we all going to need them at some point or another. But I try to stay away from from hospitals and that lifestyle, um, you know, as long as I can. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, I mean, I, yeah, again, I appreciate what physicians do, but I'd rather avoid them at all possibility, <laughs> you know, and, and I think that's probably good advice for most people to stay. If you can avoid them, avoid them. Um, do you, uh, you know, you'd mentioned, uh, how difficult do you find Tampa to be for a carnivore diet? I'm sure. I mean, I, I didn't have a lot of trouble, but is it any, any challenge to do that here there? No, no, not at all. There's just plenty of great places here and you know, people in the South love, love their steaks, man. They, they love, they love beef around here. And uh, so do I. So no, there, there's no issues here. I, I, I tend to see in malls and places like that, that they're opening more of the vegan places or the juices places or things like that more often. And uh, I guess that's what people like. It's not for me. Uh, but, you know, I, I remember that's another thing that I remember uh, that my mother used to used to uh, remind me when I was little, when I was uh, when I was a baby, when I was um, young enough to, uh, you know, I, I, when, when my mother was pretty much trying to feed me uh, food, um, I, I, you know, I wasn't gaining weight and I wasn't putting some food. I remember my mother used to tell me that she used to blend a lot of beef, a lot of meat together and, and, and give it to me as as um, as a drink uh, with a lot of protein. Uh, and I remember, I got to bring that up to her. I just remember that, 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 that basically my early years, I was fed by beef and I didn't even know it, uh, cause my body was rejecting everything else. So it, it goes to, it goes, it gives you an idea that, you know, our body, you know, even my body, when I was young enough to, to remember, I needed beef from the beginning. And, um, it's one of the things I just remember, I wanted to brought up, brought up to you. That was, it's fascinating that, uh, even my mother, when I was, I mean, I was a baby, I was, I was being fed beef and i didn't even know it <laughs> you know as somebody and you've got a, a fairly significant social media following as someone who's out there in a the public eye you know doing film and and, and modeling and things like that uh, and and i guess now you're talking about this in an open way uh, are you getting any sort of negative negativity thrown your way about this and how dare you how dare you eat meat and stuff like that uh i haven't i haven't seen anything like that yet uh but it might it might happen uh, but you know, ignorance, uh, is, is bliss as they say. So I, I tend to, I, I don't really get it, uh, let it, let it affect me in any way, shape or form because they haven't done it. They haven't stuck to it. And, um, and I feel great. So I, I would suggest try it for yourself. And, and I've trained, I also, I've tried that, those diets, I've tried what they're talking about and it doesn't work and it makes me feel awful. And why would I want to feel awful every day? Why would I want to go put myself through that? Um, just because everybody else is doing it, it's not a good enough reason for me. Um, and, you know, animals, I believe, were created by God for to, to, to be eaten. I mean, that's what we need. That's what I need. Um, but I don't want to get these, you know, these arguments because they really go nowhere, you know, because it, it tends to believe that they go somewhere else so negative and, um, uh, I tend to really focus on the positive stuff because right now, you know, I, I live 50 years on this planet and I want to live my next 50, you know, or as long as I can, as positive as I can. And, uh, and food is giving me that positivity. So why would I change it? Yeah. I mean, some people say food is medicine and I, and I, you know, I think a lot of people, once they start eating this way, they, they notice their health improves or mental health improves. You know, you'd mentioned, uh, you didn't lose any weight, but you got, you know, your body recomposition, you put on more muscle, you lost more fat. How does that make you feel mentally? I know for me, it's like the world of difference when I, when I feel, feel good. 
It, feel, it feels incredible because then you can really put the work in in the gym and find that, you know, like every week there's changes, uh, extremely big changes uh, in my body structure and the way I look, the way I feel, my, 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 my waist is getting trimmer. You know, there's nothing you can hide from looking in the mirror. You know, you get up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you're like, okay, wow, I put in the work and it's actually coming back to me in a hundred percent where before it wasn't. And, and, and you contemplate that. What am I doing wrong? I'm working so damn hard here and I, I'm trying to follow all this and I'm following all these diets and nothing is changing. Um, that was, that was like a, a big no, no for me. But now when I train and I'm sweating and then the sweating is extremely, um, it's, it's a lot of sweat. It's, I enjoy training hard. I, you know, if I'm going to go and train, I want to make sure that that hour or two hours of training that I do every day, it's going to get me somewhere, not just for, for any, I want to, I want to get results. And I'm one of these people that I want to get results now. I don't want to wait a month. I don't want to wait. And, and with this diet, the results are extremely fast. So, you know, I, I can see that I can see it happening really simultaneously as I eat this great food. So it's incredible. I have just nothing but great stuff about this diet that I'm going to keep talking about because I'm living it. It's not a lie. It's not a make belief. It's not something that you have to wait a long time to do, which is, in, which is what people want. Don't they want to find out right away? I mean, there's these diets that take 12 weeks or, you know, the summer diets, there's so many, there's diets for every, for every day, you know, different diet, different, this, different, that. And I've tried most of them. And I listen to these so-called specialists and these trainers and, uh, and they all fail because I don't want to wait 12 weeks to find something. I want to do it now in the next two workouts or the next workout. I want to see a change. I want to see a change right away. And, and it happens with this diet. With the, I don't even want to call it diet anymore. It's just my my lifestyle, really, right now. With the way I'm eating beef most of the times uh, is my lifestyle, and you know I can't wait to work out. I can't wait to get that workout done. Every night before going to bed, I feel pumped. You know, like I, I am just like I mean, look at this. I'm 50 years old. I got I got I'm ripped everywhere, and I mean that's that's a sign that something I'm doing is 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 happening constantly rapidly, which is incredible. Uh, I never felt my body moving so fast at a rapid fa- pace that I have as I have now. Never happened before. It's incredible. A lot of people will say, hey, man, it's, it's too boring, man. I can use because they ask me, hey, don't you get bored of eating beef? And I'm like, no, I don't. I like it. But what is your, what is your thought? I mean, are you, are you finding that I, I'm just not looking forward to meals or what, what does it go no, on? You know what? For me, see, the thing is we're addicted to the to food instead of treating food as a resource of everything energy and everything that you need to 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 rebuild your body your bones and your ligaments and everything so now we're addicted to the food because it's so addictive you know sugar carbs the food is so incredibly addictive that when you eat it once you got to eat it a hundred times you know when you have diet pepsi people are drinking gallons of dry everything is huge and big portions of all this food that is there to get you to buy more of it and more of it. Uh, whereas right now, the food that I put in my body is to get me going and to feel great. So, and I enjoy it as well too. So I enjoy it, but not to the point where I need the drug, you know, that addiction that, you know, it's like heroin addiction. It's really to that level of, because, you know, think about it. People recently, more than I ever seen in the past, especially celebrities, because you hear celebrities passing away day in and day out where they go to sleep and the next day they're dead. I've never seen it before, but so many people go do it. You now we've seen, God bless his soul. Ray Liotta just passed away. He went to sleep and he didn't wake up the next day. We had comedians who go to sleep, they're on tour and they don't wake up the next day. I, know, I mean, like that's related to your heart. It's got to relate it to strokes or heart attacks in some way or one way or another. And I know it has to do with the food that you put in your body. Um, there was a, a Canelo, the boxer, you know, he, he went from eating beef every day. I mean, he was, he was eating horse beef, right? And he was undefeated. All of a sudden, he's eating, he became a vegan. He's lost the last fight. He looked like he, he backed away years of experience because he just lost. I, I mean, like, you see it day in and day out that, this stuff, this new way of living or whatever they're trying to do is not working. Uh, and, and people are, are just, uh, 
you know, heart attacks are the number one killer in the world. I mean, it's all related to your heart. So my heart feels great. I can push myself. I feel intuitive and touch with my body in ways that I've never felt before. Um, why would I change it? And that's more important going back to your original question about eating and being boring. What's more important, living a, a long life, a healthy life where you're hundred percent every single day and you can push in your fifties or any age, or would you rather be stuck to eating food that slows you down? And the addiction is right here. I don't want to be addicted to anything. I want to be able to be free uh, and live a healthy life and be at my full potential. And now yeah. I am. Yeah, I often say, you know, people ask me, well, you know, the food isn't exciting to me. And I said, well, you know, if, if the major incitement, excitement in your life is, is, is just coming from what you eat, you need a better life. You, you, need to just, you need to do more with your life than just worry about what's, on your, what's in your, what you stick in your mouth all day long. So exactly. this is a little controversial. And, um, you know, as, as someone who's been a model, you know, models, are, models aren't necessarily health authorities or maybe designed to be the, the, the go-to Absolutely. health people. But generally, you know, you look at models and say that person looks generally healthy. We yeah. now have a trend where healthy at any size, and we see a lot of people that are obese that are now models and stuff like that. And there's, you know, I don't think there's any wrong, but do you have a concern about people saying that that is a healthy way to be? And then that, does that bother you at all? I, I think in the old days, especially in the eighties and the nineties, when I did my Calvin Klein campaigns and I was around the fashion world, you know, I was, I was always an actor, but I was introduced in the fashion world because I worked with Calvin Klein. It was amazing and all that stuff. But I remember going to fashion shows and people were like, and all these models were like smokers. They were smoking all day long. They were not eating all day, especially the girls. And they were very thin. So they were very skinny. So that was the trend back then. Uh, now the trend is you can be as heavy as you want. You can be, but heavy means that you're carrying a lot of weight. And once again, it goes back to your heart. Your heart is supposed to pump. It's supposed to give enough energy and, and have blood come in and come out based on your health, the way you look and your weight. Because the more, the more weight you carry, the more fat you carry, the more chances of, of strokes and heart attacks and so forth and, and diabetes and the list goes on and on and on. So we don't want to support that. Not because of the way you look necessarily, you want to support that because it's not healthy. Um, cause health is really the most important thing nowadays in, in, in our life is, is health because they're promoting so much bad stuff. Even the so-called trainers on YouTube that are taking a lot of steroids and, you know who they are, and I know who they are. That's not healthy either. So there's there's a steroid guys over here who are training extremely hard, but taking a lot of you know supplements, and I mean supplements of any kind from A to Z. And then you have these other people who are like, well, I can do whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want. It doesn't matter. It's the way I feel. But at some point or another, you're going to have to deal with two things. You're going to have to deal with life and death. And uh, when your heart stops pumping and you have issues of all kinds, you're going to end up back in, in that place that we both don't like, the hospital, uh, if you're lucky enough to actually be treated. Uh, and then who knows what they're going to treat you with. So I tend to think of it in a, in a more logical way. You go, why are you supporting this? That's not healthy. Uh, and, and also, that's really a, a, a cop-out because you don't really want to train. It, it, not a lot of people want to train. It's, it's, they want to take the magic pill. They want to take this. Fix me now. I want to go on vacation. I want to look great. So give me something that I can take. I'm getting married. What people don't understand is that your life, your body that God gave you is the only body you have. So you will need to take care of that. You know, you can leave a Ferrari in the garage every single day for years and years. That car is never going to turn on. It's never going to work. As beautiful as it looks, you got to actually drive it and you got to put this machine into place. And it takes one day at a time. And anybody, can really train hard in time, but they have to be introduced to this lifestyle and nothing is easy. It, you know, working out is a pain in the butt. People don't want to do it. But again, logically, why wouldn't you want to work on something that you live in? Why wouldn't you want to work on something that you really are stuck with and you have no way to get out of? Uh, and I certainly don't want to go to sleep and not wake up the next morning for something that I did to myself. Uh, I don't want to do that. I, I want to be able to to live a healthy life. And if I go to heaven, it's based on what God wanted or whatever it is, but it's not because I force myself by putting this negative stuff in my body that's going to lead me to say, hey, you know what? 
I'm not going to wake up tomorrow morning. I don't want that. Let me ask you to describe a perfect steak for you. How would you cook it? What kind of cut would it be? How would it be prepared? How would you season it? What, what, um, what would you like I would, uh, I would put some, I would put salt. I would uh, put some butter in there, some good Irish butter. And, um, I would make it, uh, rare. Well, uh, and I would, I don't like too much blood, but I just like a little bit in there. I like it crispy on the outside. Uh, I want to taste that salt. I want to taste that butter. Um, that's pretty much it right there, man. What uh, kind of steak? Gonna, it's New York strip. Uh, ribeye, something like that. What do you think? Yeah, ribeye would be great. Also, like I said, like it's a lot. It's a lot easier for me to eat a bowl of ground beef, uh, lean ground beef, um, and I could eat a lot of that. Um, so that's that for me is is really uh, I'm looking forward to that because a nice I, I look at it and I go I can eat so much really fast. I want to get out of the way and get it, get it, get it out of the way really quick. But a ribeye, uh, any, you know, even, even sausages, uh, I enjoy that. Um, even veal once in a while. I mean, like there's just, uh, there's just a lot of stuff out there, you know, that, uh, as far as meat, it's just never ending. There's so many, you know, the, the cow is, it has a lot of good stuff in it, uh, from head to toe. So you can just pick whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. I've got a half a cow sitting in my fridge at, at home, and uh, yeah. I, I, what do you I, get your beef for? And how how much is it expensive for you on a weekly basis to get to get a lot of beef in your fridge? Um, you know, I, like I said, I I buy some locally, so I bought half a cow. That wasn't too bad. That was about six bucks a pound for for everything, which was a, that was a grass fed animal or grass finished rather. I get uh, some I buy at the supermarket, and then some people, some of the ranchers will send me beef, which is super nice because you know it's that that price is really good. Um, so overall, I don't spend it too much. If I was paying for it myself, and I've done this before, where I, you know, I would spend you know, a hundred, hundred twenty dollars a week, or something like that. But that was three or four pounds of meat a day, so that's quite a bit. You know, that's, that's not that's, bad at all. That's, that's not, not too bad. bad. Yeah, and uh, no. I don't know. I don't know what the prices are like in Florida. I know when I was there. I stayed on uh, Madeira Beach, you know, near Clearwater, yep, and yep. I went to the grocery store and uh, yep. just loaded up and stayed at a little Airbnb place and cooked steaks every day. Are you getting good at cooking? I mean, are you are you doing a lot more cooking at home now since you've changed this diet? Do you find yeah, I do, home? and I uh, also have some restaurants that I go to uh, that I can get those steaks uh, that are relatively close by that I can pick something up on the way home, uh, order it and pick it up, or even have you know I take my girl there and we go eat there. A great steak houses around here. Uh, even the Italian places that I go to, they make steaks for me there. So I eat a lot of that. Um, so there's there's definitely a lot of options. Um, that, and also there's a lot of farms around here. Florida is full of farms. So eggs here are, are phenomenal. You get really beautiful eggs, fresh eggs that I like to pick up, uh, and 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 meat that is um, that is really. I mean, down down the street, I have a lot of farms with a lot of beef ro rolling around that is fresh. Very nice. Very nice. Well, Antonio, I unfortunately have to go do some consultations here in a few minutes. So I want to give it, give you a chance just to sort of uh, let people know where to find you. Because I'm sure some of these people want to follow, follow along and watch your journey and, and maybe get inspired. So where do they go? I appreciate it. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Antonio Sabato Jr. on Instagram. I have that check mark right there. And uh, I'll be continuing following you. I appreciate you. I respect you. Uh, and everyone who's listening and watching this keep staying on this, on, on this way of life. It's just, uh, it's phenomenal. I am so happy that I, that I actually did it for myself and I, 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 I'm, I won't stop. I'm really looking forward to what the next chapter is. Well, it's awesome to have you as an advocate. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Maybe next time I'm, I'm, I'm down in Florida, maybe I'll look you up. So that'd be, that'd be fun. Please do. Please do. I love, right. I look forward to it. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see everybody tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.